Hey guys, what's up? It's Kote the Dragon Samurai here, and as you can see, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review for this thing, which is the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Beast X Morpher. So let's quickly take a look at this Morpher's packaging before we get into the features and all that. So here's the front of the box, which looks awesome. As you can see, we have the nice new Power Rangers logo here, along with Beast X Morpher on the top, the Hasbro logo, what age group it's for and what batteries are required, tells you what it includes right there. And here's, as you can see, where the Morpher is, along with a Try Me key, as you can see, and push button for sounds, tells you some of its features such as reacting to voice, sound, and motion. And then here's a picture of the Red Ranger wearing the morpher on his wrist with a couple phrases in there's the beast morphers logo there on the on this side you have a nice picture of the red ranger using the beast x saber and looking awesome and all that on the other side you have a nice picture of the yellow ranger and cruise and tells you that you can unlock more sounds by getting the Morphex keys. You have it at the top, you get that Power Rangers logo again with a face picture of the Red Ranger. The bottom with the legal guff and the Power Rangers logo again and the barcode. And on the back you get a picture of a kid swinging the morpher around to demonstrate its motion activated light and sound feature as well as its compatibility with Morphex keys and a little thing telling you where you can go to PowerRangers.com to watch videos and all that stuff so that pretty much does it for this box I'm actually really excited to open this thing so let's take a look at it out of its box And here is everything out of its box. So you get a Morphex key, Try Me version, which has three different keys. One for the Red Ranger, one for Chase, and possibly one for Beast Bots. And a kind of fold in like this. And the base is made of a hard rubber which is nice. It has that little design of the dial like on the morpher itself. And yeah, here's what it looks like closed. And we'll talk a little more about this key later on, but let's get to the main attraction, the morpher. So here is the morpher and it looks really nice. And as you can see, it's very, very thick. Here's the underside. Here's where you'd put Morphex keys. And here's the other side of it. And for functionality, you can push this button here to activate some sound effects and phrases. As well as initiate the ability to wave it around on your wrist. The dial can twist, but yeah, it doesn't do anything much. And it turns in both directions, 360 degrees. And on its Japanese counterpart, the morphing brace, this part here is where you push in to open the glasses part, but instead on this morpher, it's this red button here. And when you push it, it lifts up. On the Japanese version, when it lifts up, it of course starts out like this and then slowly opens like this. But with Hasbro's Beast X Morpher, it opens very quickly. And yeah, let me get it closed. There are three positions for the on-off switch on the bottom. There's off, which is it's in now. Try me, which is how it is when it's in the box. And on. 
that's turned on. So by pushing this, you can activate some built-in sound effects and phrases. Let's go! Rangers, it's go time! Unleash the beasts! It's morphin' time! It's morphin' time! Yeah, and it kind of cycles through those three sound effects. But the main gimmick here is, if you move it... You get that. So now, let's try morphing. Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! It's morphin' time! Yeah, that's awesome. And of course, you have different sound effects for when you morph. Okay, a little tired of that. Now, let's see what happens when you put in a morph X key. Yeah, it even has some deactivation sounds, as you can tell when I remove a key. So let's put in a key, the one that's provided, starting with the red key. Key to beast power, red! And you get different exclusive sounds and all that. Now let's morph. Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! It's morphin' time! Yeah, you get that sound when you put in a ranger morphex key and morph. But that's what happens when you move it around. That's awesome. Let's take the key out. And try a different key. This time, chase. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. I'm the better Red Ranger. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's go for a spin, Cruz. Cheetah Beast Power Red. Rangers, it's go time. Yeah, you get that. And now, let's see what happens when you morph with Chase's key. Are you ready? Say it's morphin' time. It's morphin' time! Not today, Rangers! That's cool. Alright, so now... Let's try out the last key that's provided. This one. Defenders of the grid! It's morphin time! Let's go! Yeah, you get that, and now activate beast power. Are you ready? Say it's morphin time! It's morphin time! Basically the same thing for the rangers. Oh, and you also get a sound effect for when you close the uh, glasses part, which is nice. Unleash the beast! So you get that and with the motions, but what happens when you twist the dial? Nothing. As you can see. Let's take out the key. And turn it off. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. By the way, the strap is made of fabric with some Velcro on it. You basically, what you do is you 
put your arm in like this, and you take the other end of the strap and put it through that loop here, then you pull it to the, to the tightness you want and then lay the Velcro on. And there it's on your wrist. So here it is on my wrist. Feels nice. I'll take it off quick. As for some differences between the Beast X Morpher and its Japanese counterpart, the Morphing Brace functionality, the glasses part does flip up, but like I said, the part where it kind of goes like that is slower on the Japanese version, but on the Hasbro version, it's super quick, as you can tell. And also you can tell the placement of the glasses activation part is different. Like instead of, on the Japanese version, it's here. And this part here is black to match the rest of the plastic. And it's the only part that isn't a button on it, the Japanese version. And it doesn't have the uh, key thing going for it. Which is interesting say the least. Here's the uh, instructions, which will provide a better image. Then here's the back. And it tells you right here to that you can unlock additional character sounds and phrases by getting the figures. Also, it tells you how to put it on. The three positions for the on-off switch. The way you open the sunglasses part, and what else you can do with it when you're wanting to morph, and how to change the batteries. So, overall, what do I think of this morpher? I love it. It's really awesome. I like, I mean, I like it. It's, of course, not exactly like its in-show counterpart, but it's close. And a little background. When it was first released about a year ago in 2008-19, when the Beast Morphers line first started, I wanted one so badly, and I tried to win this in a giveaway from Ranger Rachel or something, but failed. But I saw this at Winners today, and I'm like, oh my god, they actually have this thing on sale? I'm gonna have to get it. And so I did. And it's awesome. So this is not only my second morpher, but it's also, coincidentally, my first ever Hasbro-made Power Rangers morpher. And I must say, Hasbro did an amazing job with this morpher. I like it. That's all I have to really say about it. Um, unless you're a fan of Power Rangers or anything, I would definitely recommend you get this morpher. Whether you're a fan of strictly Power Rangers or both it and Go Busters. Especially whether you have the morphing brace or not. And the key function is cool and that I'm pretty sure kids are going to have a lot of fun both playing with this morpher and collecting all the keys and unlocking all the sounds in this morpher which is awesome for Hasbro so that's it for my unboxing and review of the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Beast X Morpher thanks for watching my latest video be sure to subscribe for more videos and yeah this is Cody the Dragon Samurai signing off